Hello and welcome to My Dietitian Journey. I'm Felicia, owner and registered dietitian at Peraz Nutrition and My Dietitian Journey. This video will cover whether or not you need a fax for your private practice. A fax number is needed for a few reasons in private practice, referrals, encounter notes, and obtaining patient labs. In order to accept referrals, you will need a HIPAA compliant fax number. I do wanna note that when calling for a referral, a doctor's office may wanna enter it electronically. However, you may not have access to the same EMR system that they're using. Paraportal, for example, is for participating providers with Independence Blue Cross, Independence Administrators, Admira Health, or Admira Health Administrators. So if a doctor does send a referral through PAIR, I can access it. Otherwise, I will need the provider's office to actually have it faxed. In addition to a referral, I often call doctor's offices to obtain a copy of a patient's labs or their last encounter note from their physician. I request an encounter note often because this actually gives me diagnosis codes, medication list, medical history, and then also information about treatment for the patient. This information can really help to guide my session my nutrition recommendations, and also help me with setting goals with the patient. If you are planning on becoming a provider for insurance companies, you will also need a fax number. A fax number will need to be indicated on the CAQH application, and many insurances require a fax number to be entered when you submit the initial provider enrollment application. I also occasionally need to send a fax to a physician's office. For example, I had a primary care office ask me to send a fax to them with a request for the patient's records. So I had to send a cover letter with my information, the patient's information, my NPI, and what specifically I needed from the practice. I currently use an online fax called SRFAX, which is HIPAA compliant, and that means that I signed a BAA with them as well. When I receive an online fax, it comes to my email as a PDF attachment. I can download that PDF and then attach it to the patient's chart. I use Simple Practice for my EMR, so there's a file section where I can just upload any referrals, labs, or encounter notes from the primary care office. Something else to consider with using an online fax service is that you will need to have a HIPAA compliant email since that's where the faxes will be sent to. So I hope that this was helpful as an overview to utilizing faxing in your practice. Thanks so much for listening and leave a comment if you have any questions.